Photoshop Beta works exactly like the regular Photoshop, but Photoshop Beta has some additional feature that the regular Photoshop doesn't have. Is Photoshop Beta better than the regular Photoshop? I'll say yes and no. The reason why I say yes is that Photoshop Beta is what Adobe used to test new Photoshop feature before actually bringing it into the regular Photoshop. So if you're using Photoshop Beta, you can literally do everything you are using your regular Photoshop to do, but you get extra new feature inside the Adobe Photoshop Beta, like early access to new feature. So let's say for example now, like the generative fee, we have the generative fee inside the Adobe Photoshop Beta, but we don't have it inside the regular Photoshop. And I really hope that feature comes into the regular version of Photoshop really soon. And not just the generative fee, some features like the sky replacement, the remove tool, the subject selection tool, before they actually brought those functions inside of the regular Photoshop, people who were using Photoshop Beta already have early access to those functions. And those are just some of the advantages of using Photoshop Beta. But the downside of using Photoshop Beta is it has a lot of bugs yet to be fixed by Adobe because it's more like an experiment so there might be a lot of bugs. And also, when you are doing your regular workflow, sometimes it crashes and sometimes it slows your workflow. And if you are asking which version of Photoshop has the generative fee, it's the Photoshop Beta and not the regular Photoshop. Now here is how you can actually get the Photoshop Beta if you want to try it out. The first thing you have to do is to download the Adobe Creative Cloud. And when you download the Adobe Creative Cloud, so after you sign up and log in, this is what the Creative Cloud looks like. All you have to do to get the Photoshop Beta is to come to your app right here. Once you come to your app, just click on this Beta app right here. So if you click on Beta app, you are going to see all the application that has beta so this is the adobe photoshop beta if you haven't installed it already it's because i already installed it so if you haven't installed it already just click on install i just going to install but if you install it already just click on open it's automatically going to open the app for you you can see it's the same thing as regular photoshop watch this video right here if you want to learn how to retouch using photoshop i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative